Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door, and I have some new goodies to add to the booth for Miss Sarah Simi. She sent a journal this time with a little packet of goodies for the journal. It's got a dangle on it, but she also sent me a lot of snippet rolls and a lot of charm dangles. I know y'all are going to love it, so hang in here with me, and I'll show you each one um, so that you can run over and grab which one you love. I love this journal, but before I show you the journal, I'm going to show you the little goodies she sent to me. She spoils me rotten, y'all. Look at all of these sweet, sweet charms. They're like um, little spurs for like a boot, like a cowboy boot. Oh, I'm so in love with these, and these are going to go perfect. These are perfectly timed for my Christmas in July farmhouse journals and for my fall farmhouse journals. So I'm super excited about those. And then look at this. She sent me a cute little butterfly sticker. And she knows my love for tickets. So she sent me all of these adorable. I'm in love with these tickets. I don't know where you got these, Sarah. But these are awesome. I love these so much. Y'all, these go so cute in clusters. And for embellishments on your journal pages. I love the texture of them she sent me so many and they're all so very different oh my goodness i'm in love with these so stinking cool look at this hopefully i'm in frame i'm looking at them and not forgetting to look through the camera <laughs> how wonderful i love these so much and then look at these these are super cool i love these I love the texture of them, the way they feel. They're awesome. Yankee Stadium. These are so cool. I love these so much, Sarah. Thank you so much. And then, y'all, look at this. I've never seen these, but how stinking cute are these? These are little miniature Scrabble tiles that are stickers. Oh, my my goodness i'm in love with these how stinking adorable are those i haven't ever seen those i'm super excited to play with these in some journals oh my goodness thank you sarah so wonderful okay i'm gonna put those over there and we'll go through the journal real quick and then we'll i'll pull in the dangles and the snippet rolls y'all i'm in love with this journal first off Look at this big pile of wonderfulness that she sent as extras for your journal. There's tags in there. I see a doily. There's even a stamp block in there. So whoever gets this journal is going to get spoiled. Look at the stamp block. How cool is that? It's like a fashion model. I mean, how fun is that? I mean, you look at all the little scraps. There's fabric scraps. There's beautiful little doily in there. I'm not going to pull everything out, but I mean, there's tags that are already made um, in there. So, whoever gets this is going to get spoiled because she has got so much goodies in here. So, this is the thank you gift that goes with the journal. And then you have the journal, and I'm absolutely in love with this cover. You can tell it's very vintage. This is a hardcover journal, and this is the original cover. Um, for this book so oh my goodness I love it and then she's got this beautiful butterfly fabric for the spine and then look you get one of her yummy dangles y'all she puts so many charms on these dangles I mean it is amazing you have to have a lot of patience <laughs> a lot of patience to do that uh, and work with all of these tiny little charms. I mean, there's every kind of charm that has to do with sewing on here that you can think of. So stinking cute. Look at the little needle. And there's a thread spool. There's a bobbin. A sewing machine. Oh my goodness. So much goodness. Alright, and then that is the back of the journal. Again, the original cover, which I absolutely love 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 the original cover of this book okay so let's take a peek inside looks like it's three signatures oh my goodness and here's our information sheet okay sewing takes flight is the name of the journal okay let's see it's um 
Okay, so it's 11 and a quarter by nine and it has a four inch spine. Uh, it's a journal glue book art book, rice paper on the inside covers. Oh yes, I recognize this. This is, these are some of my rice papers. Yay, thank you, Sarah. Um, 208 pages front and back. Has the sewing dangle, a mixture of papers, both old and new ephemera with vintage and new buttons. Very large goodie envelope to get you started. Okay, I'm so excited. I absolutely love the way this feels. I wish y'all could touch it. <laughs> okay, and I love this. I think this is so cool. Check out this pocket. All right, I'm going to scoot the dangle up. And I, number one, I love how flat the journal lays. And then look at how gorgeous this is. She's got this clear pocket that's a vintage sack or bag for some st sewing stuff. And then look at how gorgeous this is. How pretty is that? I love this so much. You could use this as a bookmark or even like a pocket in a page or just leave it like, I mean, it is gorgeous. So that slides down in the pocket. Okay, so that's the front pocket. You have this beautiful fabric tag. Looks like a... I don't know if it was a layaway tag, but I love how she put the fabric over it. And her stitching is gorgeous. Yum, yum, yum. Coffee dyed deli paper. Yum. <laughs> Did I say yum? Beautiful vintage wallpaper. I love this. Look at this. You can make a po pocket out of this side. I love how she's put, you know, different sizes in there. I love these papers, and this is like perfect as a retro journal. Love it. Look at how cool this vintage book page is. She's got washi down the center. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? I love that. Ledger paper. This is a beautiful journal. I'm in love with this journal. I love this. It's a pocket, and I love how she did that. So very cool. Look how pretty. That pocket, I mean, that tag is. I love it. It's like um, pieced or quilted together. Love that. Coffee dyed paper. You have a pocket here. This is gorgeous, Sarah. I love it. I love this with the stitching. That's the pocket there. Yum. Okay, there's the center of the first signature. Look at this fabric flip. How gorgeous is this? Very, very vintage. And I can almost guarantee you that some of this is feed sack fabric because she she has a nice stash of feed sack fabric. That is beautiful. I love that. That's a pocket there. This can be created into a pocket. I love the paper she's used in here. There's another little tuck there. Ledger paper. I love this. This is that bold print from the other side. I love these pages. These are awesome. That's a pocket. That's a pocket. Super pretty. This is that vintage wallpaper, which I love. And the yummy coffee dyed deli paper. Nice little crinkle. That's a pocket there. This is the beginning of our second signature and another one of those quilty looking tags. Deli paper, and you can make that a pocket if you want to. I love this. This may be newsprint um, paper. Very pretty with the birds. Love the colors in here and how it all looks so retro. That's a pocket. And this is a sewing pattern page. So you can close this up and make it a pocket or leave it like it is and make it a pocket. Mm, yummy, yummy wallpaper. is a um, vintage book page. 
I love pages like this because you can create all over this page and make it whatever you want. Pocket there. That's a pocket there. And again, don't forget you have that whole envelope full of goodies to stuff into this journal and make you some wonderful ephemera for the journal. I love these pages. These are such cool pages. This has to be from the 70s. It's that hairstyle. <laughs> I love this wallpaper. It has such a wonderful texture to it. Beautiful coffee dyed paper. Look at how gorgeous this tag is. How pretty is that? Oh, I love that so much with the fabrics on it. Great job, Sarah. This is a pocket. And I love how all the pages are different sizes. Again, here's another fabric flip. I love this fabric here. And look at this very vintage lace doily piece. I think this is feed sack fabric. Can't be sure, but I think it is. And the crinkly coffee dyed paper that you can make a pocket. That's a pocket. There's a pocket here. And look at this beautiful tag. She has, I love this fabric. How cool is that? That is so fun. I love that so much. Again, I think this is newsprint paper. This is very pretty paper. And you can make that a pocket. I love how she's left all your options open. This is vintage wallpaper. I love this. How cool of a page is that? With all the colors. Oh my goodness. That can be a pocket. Wow. Oh, I love this paper. That can be a pocket. I love the way you combine these papers. Got that beautiful ruffle there. Look at how gorgeous this fabric flip is. This is very vintage. And then you have this piece and this piece with the floral and then this very vintage lacy piece. So pretty. Pocket there. These are so cool the way she did these pockets. Oh, these are textured. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I love the way they feel. <laughs> and see, I love how this is done because you can actually make this a pocket if you want to, or you can make it a page, or you can add more paper on and make it another page. Loving the crinkle. Pocket here and a pocket here. This can be a pocket, and I love how she's left one end open for you to have that option. I love these book pages that she's used in here. And then she has the washi tape that looks like um, sewing tape. This can be a pocket. Pocket there. And then in the very back, you have a pocket with the rice paper. So you can tuck some goodies into this pocket. And again, you have all kinds of goodies to get you started with this journal. So what did we say? I know she gave it a name. Let me look again. Sewing Takes Flight is the name of this journal. And that's how you'll find it in the shop. So hang on and let me rearrange and I'll grab the dangles. Okay, so we're going to go really quick on the dangles um, because we still have the the snippet rolls to show you okay so i'm gonna go really fast y'all know if you've watched any of sarah's videos or her videos that i've done on her dangles that they are absolutely filled to the brim with beautiful charms so um you just have to get them to see all of the details in them um, this is the first one it's number one it's the ocean dangle and this is what all is on there she always adds so many vintage goodies on her charm dangles. Um, let me just hold it up and let you see. 
I mean, I don't know how she has the... Y'all, I wish y'all could feel of this bead. Oh my goodness, it has the coolest texture to it. But she just fills her dangles with the best charms. And I mean, they're absolutely full of charms. It's not just beads, it's charms. And we know that those are not, you know, cheap. So, uh, this one is number one. It's called the Ocean Dangle. That's how you'll find it in the shop. Let's go ahead and move to number two. I'm in love with this one. This one is called the Sewing Dangle. It's number two. And this is all that's on number two. Okay. Love, love, love this. She even has little thread spools. I mean, and buttons and sewing machines, bobbins. She's got some of my little farming charms on here. These take forever to make. They they are very time consuming to make those. There's a little hanger, a little measuring tape ruler. Oh my goodness, look at how adorable. Look, there's the little mannequin. I mean, all kinds of goodies on these, even a little iron. Oh my goodness, look at these vintage buttons. And then you have the bobbin here at the bottom. I love how she did the bobbin at the bottom with the little buttons hanging off of it. Oh my goodness, so stinking cute. There's even a mushroom hanging on that. Oh my goodness, okay, so that one's number two. I could sit here and look at these forever. I kind of get caught up in them and I forget that we need to hurry. <laughs> This one's number three. It's called Take Flight. Here's what's in there. So it's like a bird themed charm. Oh my goodness. Look at how yummy. Look at the birdhouse. All kinds of wings and birds. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that? There's just no way I can show all of it to you. So you just have to get one because they are delicious. I have one that's hanging on my purse. I was going to put it in my car, but I don't go anywhere enough uh, to get to see it as much as I wanted to in my car. So, um, I hung it on my purse so that I can see it every day. So, this one is called Take Flight. It's number three. Number four is a music dangle. And here's what all is in the music dangle. This is gorgeous. I love the little clip at the top that she's hung it by. Look at all, you got a guitar, and I think that one is so stinking cute. It's um, like bagpipes. I mean, look at the little headphones, the little music notes, bells, a little radio. Oh my goodness, these are so stinking cute. I mean, oh my goodness. Some of the these things I don't know the names of. A little trumpet. So all kinds, there's a little piano, a microphone, almost said microwave, <laughs> a little set of drums, oh my goodness, these are so stinking, look at the little tape cassette, I mean, I just can't, I love this so much, I love it. Number four is the music dangle, this one, the next one, I'm having a fit over, and I really, really want this. <laughs> it's number five. It's a floral dangle. Here's all the goodies that are on there. Y'all, look at how delicious this is. I'm going to scoot those over a little. I mean, it is a floral dangle. Look at all the colors. Look at that boho bead. How gorgeous is that? I love this so much. If I would have got this box in time, I would have put this one on uh, my billowing journal. How pretty is that? So gorgeous. So that one is number five, the floral dangle. Let's go to number six. Y'all are going to love this. It's a sewing dangle, but it's very retro. You're going to love the colors in this one. This is everything that's on it. Look at how cool that is. Do y'all love this as much as I do? Because I love this. I love the oranges and the yellows. Very springtime. And all of the sewing dangles. I mean, look at everything. I love these vintage buttons. 
I love sewing. You've got the little mannequin, the needle and thread, scissors. Oh my goodness, so much vintage buttons and iron. There's a sewing machine. I mean, how stinking cute are these? Little thread spool. Oh, I love these so much. Okay, so this one is number six, the sewing dangle. Then we have number seven. This one's a nature dangle, and oh my goodness, y'all, I love it. Love, love, love this one. I love her little clasp that she has on there. Look at all the pretties. I, I'm in love with this blue zebra. And then you have like a little aardvark. You have the beautiful floral beads, the flowers, an elephant. That's some kind of critter, but I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see it good. <laughs> yeah, my eyes definitely are not what they used to be. I think that's a bear or a pig, maybe, or something. It's a critter. How stinking cool is this? I'm in love with this. Look at the little acorns. How cute are those? And the little leaves. Oh, my goodness. I could see this. Look at the little frog. I could see this on a woodland journal. Very pretty. Okay, so that one's number seven. Number eight. Oh, y'all are going to love this one. Number eight is a shabby chic dangle. Here's all the goodies that are on number eight. Y'all, look at those colors. Oh, my. I am in love with this dangle. Absolutely in love with this dangle. It's got dragonflies. Little fairies and leaves and beautiful colored beads. Little, uh, there's a little crown. There's a little with love, little flowers, hearts. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. This is gorgeous. Look how cool that bead is. Oh, I love these so much. So pretty. You got the little thing there uh, with the little... A little shaker. Oh, I love it. All right, so this one is number eight, the Chevy Chic Dangle. I'm in love with this one. It's number nine. It's a farm and garden dangle. Here's all the goodies that are on there. Okay, look at how I love, love, love how she did this. How pretty is that? And then she has some of my farming charm dangles on here. There's uh, two or three of them. I love the tomato. And look at the little watermelon. Oh my gosh. You have the vintage pig toy. Look at this. I love the barbed wire. And at the end, you have some peppers hanging off of it. Oh my goodness. You have a cow, the little shovel. There's a vintage truck. I love the pump. I think that's a pumpkin. Wheat, a tractor, oh my goodness, I could go on and on, but you get the picture. Look at the horse, so stinking cute. Look at the little barrel. Ugh, I'm in love with this. So that one's number nine, farm and garden dangle. Okay, then we have, oh my goodness, how cool is this? Y'all know my love for these. This is a steampunk dangle. It's number 10. This is everything that's on there. Look at how cool this is. Do y'all see this right here? I'm in love with this. I love that so much. Look at this. She's got all of those little watch parts in it. This is kind of like, this is where I got my inspiration for the little dangle in my um, uh, billowing journal that I did. Look at all those watch parts in there. Oh my goodness. All the little charms and the um, gears and the little watch pieces. Oh, this is a watch hand. And these are the insides of the watches. Oh my goodness. Do y'all know how long it takes <laughs> to take those watches apart? We got the keys. This is like a little locket type piece or like a little link in a watch. Oh my goodness, I love all of these. Look at the little light bulb. How cute is that? Clock face. I love it. I just love this. Y'all know 
I don't know. I'm just intrigued by this. Okay, so that one's number 10, the Steampunk Dangle. We have, where are we on our time? Okay, we're not doing too, too bad. I may do the snippets in a separate video. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this one is A Day at the Beach. It's number 11, and this is what's on it. Okay. Look at all of these gorgeous charms that she, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these with the little mermaid scales. Got the little cute little pink flip flop. Oh my. Look at that seashell. And um, what do they call these? Star, it's not a starfish. Sand dollar. It's a sand dollar. I mean, look at all of these yummies. There are so many charms on here. There's a little dude on a surfboard. Look at the little sailboat. How cute. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping y'all can see these at well. Look at the beautiful mermaid right there. How gorgeous is she? And the anchor. And there's a little turtle. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, this one's number 11, A Day at the Beach. Then we have number 12. This one is called Birds of a Feather. Here's what's on it. And then the large feather charm is from her grandparents' craft store from the 1970s. How cool is this? This is the, the feather charm. How neat is that? I love that so much. So you have all kinds of different little birds, bird houses. How cool is that? Hopefully y'all can see that. Okay, that's like the little uh, folded swans that they, what do they call it? Origami, I think. Look at how neat with all the different little birds and bird houses and beads and bird nests. Yummy. I'm in love. Okay, so this one is number 12, Birds of a Feather. And then I think... Okay, next we have a farm dangle. It's number 13. And this is what all is on there. Y'all know I'm going to be in love with this one. <laughs> so she has some of my ch farming charm digis on there. Look at the little rooster. Can you see the rooster? Oh my gosh, I'm in love with him. Cowboy hats. Look at the little iron skillet. Y'all, I am die hard with my iron skillet. I, I use my iron skillet every day. I love the pink pig. Got a little lantern. I love the little shovel. Cowboy boot. There's another one of my farming charms. I love the little wagon. I love it all. I just love it all. There's a vintage truck on there and a tomato. There's an acorn and a horseshoe. American flag, another one of the farming charm dangles. Cows and pigs and goats. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, so that one's number 13. I could look at that one all day. <laughs> okay, and then we have number 14. Y'all are going to love this. It's a vintage shabby chic. I would keep every single one of these dangles if I could. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I love her use of the chain on here. Look at how delicate these look. But she's got them on here really well. And I love the colors. So pretty. Look at that heart. I mean, she's got a lot of goodies on here. I love all the pearls. I just think it's gorgeous. Look at that. So cool. I love all these little hearts. This is a locket. So you could put a picture in there. Look at how pretty that is. I love these. These are so cool to me. She is so creative when she puts these charms together. There's the Eiffel Tower. No Remington. You're not going out the door. So gorgeous. Okay, so this one is number 14, Vintage Shabby Chic, Remington, no. Okay, and then our numbers changed. So that one was number 14. This one is number 21. These came in a separate box and she couldn't remember where her last number was. So this one's number 21. It's a farm dangle. This is everything that's on 
the farm dangle. Yum, yum. I'm in love with this. Check that out. I don't know what it is about green stamps lately, but I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> I love the little pitchfork, little pig. Look at the little revolver. How stinking cute is that? Little pine cone. Look at this teeny tiny little tassel. Can y'all see that? It's just the tiniest little tassel. Oh my goodness. I'm loving it. And the little cow, little strawberry. <laughs> I can't even show y'all all of this because she has it stuffed so full of these wonderful charms. Oh my goodness. There's another one of my farming charm ones. And then, of course, the vintage horse toy. Oh. I think this one is the vintage railroad, railroad toy. Look at that little bitty tiny tassel. Oh my goodness. Love it. Okay. This one's number 21. It's the farm dangle. Let's see if I can get number 22 up here. Okay, this is number 22. It's a red sewing dangle. And this is everything that's on it. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry about that. My doctor has put me on a new medicine to try and help with my migraine syndrome. And, um... It makes my mouth real dry, so I had to get a drink. Okay, this is a red sewing dangle. I love how she does this. Look at how thick and cute that is. She's put the tiniest little piece of fabric and made it a charm on this dangle. I love the colors with the red and black. Look at that. How stinking cute is that? And she's just stuffed it with all these little different little sewing dangles. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. Look at the cutest, cutest little button. Vintage buttons. I love the little safety pin. Look at that button. How cool is that? Look at the little glasses. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I love these little safety pins right here. And then she's got the, um, the bobbin as a dangle. And it even has thread on it. How cool is that? Little sewing machine. So stinking cute. So that one's number 22. The red sewing dangle. We have number 23. Y'all are going to love this. Number 23 is called the Flora Bunda Dangle. This is all the goodies that are on here. Y'all are going to have a fit. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm in love with this. I just absolutely love this so much. Look at all the colors. You got the teal and the um, yellow and the pink and the purple and the green. It just screams floral to me. With all the different little floral uh, charms and butterflies and flowers. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How stinking cute are these? Look at how pretty. I love this so much. And then you have, look at that. How unique is that? So cool. So this one is number 23, the Flora Bunda. Almost there, guys. Number 24 is the Beach Bum Dangle. And these are what's on it. Y'all are going to love this one. I love this one. Look at how cool this is with the seashell. How neat is that? Look at all of the different little seashell shapes. You got sunglasses. You got a little crab. Oh my goodness. Dreaming of the sea. You got fish. A little whale tail ship's wheel, starfish, a little turtle, and look at that cute little pink whale. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. And look at the seashells. How pretty are those? Those are real seashells. Look at the little feet. How stinking cute are these? All oh, these are so wonderful. And again, you just have to get it to see everything on it. So this one's number 24, the beach bum dangle. We got two more, and then I think we'll do the snippets in a separate video. Okay, so this one's number 25, The Life of a Farmer. We've got lots of vintage pieces on this one. And then some of my farming charm dangles. I love this. This is The Farmer's Wife. The vintage horse toy. Check this out. I love that so much. Look at the little scarecrow. He's so cool. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm in love with this. Oh, we're tangled up together. Hang on, let me try and get them apart a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to pull at it too much. But it's the cutest little, um, what do they call these? Um, put them on the top of your house and they have north, south, east, and west. Oh my goodness, there's a word for them and I can't think of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Look at the cactus. How cool is that? There's another one of those cool little beads. Look, it's a holly hobby bead. Look at that cute little pink pig on the button. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I mean, look at the scissors. These are like terracotta beads. Oh, I love this so much. I mean, you have to sit and look at these for a while to see all the charms. Look at the little milk can. Vintage milk can. Look at the goat. This is a vintage toy. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. Okay, this one's number 25, The Life of a Farmer. And then the last dangle is... Number 26, P for two. Oh my goodness, there are some pretty, pretty, pretty charms on this dangle. Look at how gorgeous this is. Number one, I'm loving the pom-pom. Love, love, love the pom-pom. Look at these little teapots. How stinking cute are those? Oh my goodness, I am in love. Look at that. A fork and a knife. I love all the pinks and the whites. Look how pretty that is. Look at the little saucer. Oh my goodness. And you got a little plate with some pie on it. A little lollipop. A little teacup. Here's a teacup. Look at the pretty little flowers. And I love that she's added the lace pieces on there. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this so much. Another little teacup, the floral. And look at that sweet teapot. I love this so much. Okay, so that one is number 26, T for two. So that is all of the dangles. When you see this video, they will be in the shop, um, ready for you to come and grab them. So I will have them uh, here waiting for you. Um, don't forget about the journal because you're gonna love, love, love that journal. So um, again, I think I will come back in the next video and do the snippet rolls since this one has gone so long because I can't help myself when I'm looking at these charm dangles. I have to just keep looking. <laughs> so if you have any comments or questions for me or Sarah, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope you have a great day. Big hugs.